Today we're going to be talking about green algae life cycles. And the life cycle of a green algae is alternation of generations. That means that the generations are going to alternate between haploid and diploid states. So one generation is going to be haploid, meaning it has one set of chromosomes or one of each type. And the next generation, its kids, is going to be diploid, meaning it contains two sets of chromosomes, two of each type. And then their kids are going to be haploid, and then their kids are going to be diploid, and back and forth and back and forth. Now, because green algae are the ancestors to all green plants, green plants also carry out the same alternation of generations. Now, green plants have been around for about a half a billion years. So over this time, they've made some modifications. In fact, the different groups of plants have slightly different life cycles. But the nice thing is, is once you learn the green algae life cycle, all the other life cycles are simply modifications of that, which helps, uh, helps you remember that. So let's go ahead and draw the alternation of generations for green algae. I'm going to begin by drawing one generation called the gametophyte. And the other generation is going to be called the sporophyte. Now those you just have to memorize, but that should be about it. Once you write down these two names, you should be able to build the rest of the life cycle without having to memorize anything else. Now the gametophyte is going to produce gametes. So I'm going to go ahead and write down gametes. And gametes are sperm and egg. And the sporophyte is going to produce spores. Now spores are tough cells. It's a single cell that grows into a brand new organism all by itself. That's a little bit different than a sperm or an egg. Take a sperm, a sperm cannot grow into a new organism all by itself. And with uh, only a few exceptions, an egg cannot grow into a brand new organism all by itself. What has to happen here is a sperm and egg have to actually fuse together to become a brand new organism. That's a little bit different with a spore. The spore is a single tough cell that grows into a brand new organism all by itself. And there's some benefits to that. Now, let's go ahead and connect things up. The sporophyte, or the gametophyte, is going to give rise to gametes. It's going to produce gametes, sperm and egg. And by the way, the gametophyte can be male or female. A male gametophyte is obviously going to produce sperm, and a female gametophyte is going to produce egg. Now the gametes are going to come together and produce a sporophyte. In fact, two gametes, a sperm and an egg, are going to come together to produce that sporophyte. And then the sporophyte is going to produce spores, and the spores are going to grow into a brand new gametophyte. Now let's go ahead and write down the ploidy here. Now the ploidy is the number of sets of chromosomes an organism has. So the nice thing is, everything, the nice thing is here, sporophytes are going to be 2n, that means they have two of each type of chromosome. They have two sets of chromosomes. And everybody else, the spores, the gametophyte, and the gametes, are all going to be N, meaning they're haploid. They have one set of chromosomes, one of each type. That's the ploidy. Now, how do we get from N to N? What process what process is used by a gametophyte to produce gametes? How do we get from N to N? We're going from one set of chromosomes to one set of chromosomes. What process is going to do that? The process of mitosis. Mitosis is going to produce genetically identical cells, and therefore it's going to produce cells with similar numbers of chromosomes. So let's go ahead and write down mitosis. How do we get from N to 2N? 
Well, a sperm is going to be N, and an egg is going to be N. So N plus N is 2N. And that process is referred to as fertilization. And then how do I get from 2N to N? How do I reduce the number of chromosomes in half? That process is going to be meiosis. And then I want to go from N to N. Again, mitosis. So let's quickly review here. We talked about an alternation of generations. So what generations are actually alternating here? I'm going to go ahead and circle that. The gametophyte is one generation, and the sporophyte is another generation. So you can see that we're going from gametophyte, which has one set of chromosomes, and its kids, the sporophyte, these are not kids right here, these are gametes that ultimately will produce kids. But the sporophyte is 2N. They're diploid, two of each type of chromosome. And then their kids are going to be the gametophytes, and then their kids are going to be the sporophytes. And we're going to alternate back and forth between generations, between haploid and diploid generations. And this, again, is called an alternation of generations. And that's going to be it for the life cycle of green algae.